The J-16 is a Chinese twin-engine, tandem-seat, all-weather, multi-role strike fighter. It evolved from the J-11 air superiority fighter. It is a more advanced version with an added ground attack capability. It is broadly similar in terms of capabilities to the American F-15E. Production of the J-16 began in 2012. This aircraft has been in service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF, since 2013. The J-16 is still being manufactured and of 2019 more than 128 J-16s were in PLAAF service. The Chinese military has been looking for an offensive-defensive multi-role aircraft and had the JH-7 as its close air support aircraft. However, the JH-7 did not have radar-guided air-to-air missiles, which makes it vulnerable to other fighters common in the region such as the F-16. China sought an aircraft with multi-role capabilities and in 2012 acquired from Russia a total of 76 Su-30 MKK for the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF, and 24 Su-30 MK-2 for the Navy. The J-16 is a product of Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. Its design was based on the J-11BS, a twin-seat combat-capable trainer version of the J-11, and the Russian-supplied Su-30 MKK. The J-16 has improved avionics and uses Chinese WS-10B engines. Production of the J-16 began in 2012 and in 2013 the first J-16s were introduced in PLAAF service. The aircraft has an indigenously designed and developed modern active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, infrared search and track, UST, and new electronic countermeasure systems. The aerodynamic design of the J-16 stresses maneuverability rather than stealth. The jet's camouflaged coloring makes the aircraft blend into the sky and sea. This makes it more difficult to detect by naked eye. Although the J-20 is China's more advanced fighter jet, the PLA Air Force still needs the J-16 as the two types of fighter jets can complement each other. The J-20 can use its stealth capability to destroy hostile anti-air installations and win aerial superiority first but it cannot carry as many weapons as the J-16 because the J-20 hides its weapons in smaller weapon bays to ensure stealth capability. Composites are used throughout the overall construction of the aircraft to promote strength with weight-saving measures. The J-16 has a long range of 3,000 km and can be refueled in the air. This aircraft is armed with a built-in 30mm GSH-30-1 cannon with 150 rounds of ammunition. It has 12 underwing hardpoints and can carry up to 8,000 kg of ordnance including air-to-air -air missiles, 8XPL, 12 medium range and 4 XPL, 9 short range, anti-ship and anti-radiation missiles, cruise missiles, freefall, satellite guided and laser guided bombs and rockets. In 2018 AJ-16 was seen armed with the newer PL-10 short range and PL-15 long range air to air missiles. The PL-15 is an active radar-guided long air-to-air -air missile with a range of over 150 km and a speed of Mach 4, for 939 km per hour. Most types of Chinese air-to-surface weapons currently in service with the PLAAF can be installed on the J-16. Variants The J-16D is an electronic warfare aircraft variant noted by its wingtip equipment pods and other equipment add-ons. This version has a shorter radome and also lacks the internal 30mm gun and IRST. The J-16D completed its maiden flight on December 18, 2015. It is broadly similar to the American EA-18G Growler.